Hi, what I'm going to cover today is uh, testing GNSS SDR with simulated GPS data that we're going to create from another program called GPS SDR Sim. So the outline is going to be, we're going to, I'm going to cover a block diagram of the system real briefly. Uh, then I'm going to demonstrate how to save uh, data, GPS data file using GPS SDR SIM. Then I'm going to uh, uh, do a quick overview of configuring GNSS SDR. And, and then we'll start up the GPS SDR monitor. And then finally we'll run GNSS uh, SS, SDR against the simulated data that we created earlier. Here's a very simple block diagram of, of what I'll cover. Uh, we're going to use the uh, GPS SDR SIM program, which you can find out on GitHub and, and build that. And we're going to use it to create uh, IQ binary data. And to do that, you have to feed it an ephemeris file that you can download from, from a number of sites. And it's explained on the GitHub site. That IQ binary data is going to be then fed into GNSS SDR uh, and then using a configuration file we're going to run that and uh, send uh, data over to the GNSS SDR monitor to display it and, and see what our results look like. To create the uh, data file we're going to run GPS SDR SIM and to do that we uh, give it a couple of parameters. One is we, we're going to point it to the uh, uh, ephemeris file and, uh, with the, the E uh, designator and then with the L designator we're going to give it lat, long, and altitude and then uh, finally we're going to tell it the sampling speed uh, in mega samples per second and I'm doing this one at, as, at four mega samples per second and the V will give us a uh, kind of a verification printing to the screen as it's going which is helpful. Uh, all this is detailed on the uh, GPS SDR SIM uh, GitHub site. But let me go ahead and start it and you can see it uh, processing here. It uh, shows the satellites that are that are being processed, the um, azimuth and elevation and the pseudo range and I think this is the uh, signal strength column. And it'll, this will plug away for a while and then create our uh, uh, GPS sim dot uh, BIN file. Here's an example of a configuration file for GNSS SDR. And there are sample configuration files out on the uh, GitHub site for GNSS SDR. I'll just quickly go through uh, some of the sections in here. Uh, first of all, um, there's the global options uh, area. Uh, you can set the, uh, the samples per second, for example, speed, um, let's see, uh, of the data file. And then there's the signal source configuration where you tell it the file name of the file you're going to read in. And we're going to read in uh, uh, GPS sim at uh, four mega cycles, four uh, uh, mega samples per second uh, file that we created using GPS SDR sim. Um, then you've got the signal conditioner section, the data type adapter section, the input filter section, the resample section here. And I'll page on up uh, the channels, and I'm going to select uh, 12 channels, uh, acquisition section, tracking section, and, um, and then finally down at the bottom here, the observables and uh, PVT and monitor configuration sections. Once you build the GNSS SDR monitor, um, according to the instructions that are on the GitHub site, uh, you should be able to should be ready to then uh, then to run it, and uh, you can run it, start it before you um, start uh, GNSS SDR. 
so you can have it running uh, in the background already. So I'm going to do that. I've got it entered here. I'm going to open it up. And this is what it looks like uh, opened up. And I like to move the screen over, resize them just a little bit here. And then we'll uh, check the parameters uh, and under preferences. And we want to make sure that uh, that the ports here match the ports that we have in the GNSS SDR configuration file. And then you should be, should be good to go. So that's how you uh, open up and get uh, GNSS SDR monitor ready to go. All right, here I've opened up the GNSS SDR monitor and uh, got that ready to go. And you'll want to go into the preferences and set your, uh, make sure your ports are set correctly and the buffer size is set to something reasonable. And this is explained on the uh, uh, GitHub site for GNSS SDR monitor. Once that's done, you can uh, open up a terminal and enter in the command for uh, starting GNS SDR and we're going to point to the date to the configuration file that that will run the data um, process the uh, data file that we save with GPS SDR um, uh, sim. So I'm going to start that and it's processing the data now. Now we've already got some measurements popping into and we're already tracking now on the on the monitor so that's what it uh, what it looks like. I can expand it a little bit here and it runs pretty fast because there's only uh, about 300 seconds in the data file but we got a good solution uh, good good tracking good acquisition and good plotting in the in the monitor